Hey everyone, Don here with PR Track. Sam had talked about a, a very, very important uh, troubleshooting method when it comes to employing the bow drill friction fire uh, technique. So stick around, much to see. I know you'll enjoy. So what is that troubleshooting uh, method? It's your bearing block. Bearing blocks are often created last and they're pretty much overlooked in that entire bow drill friction fire making process. However, this can be one of the most key elements next to wood selection and proper form. Now how this really comes into play is one simple concept and I can tell you uh, this will make or break somebody trying to utilize the bow drill friction fire set and that's the concept of close off. Close off is simply this. I have a spindle and my hand represents a bearing block. As my hand pushes down on this bearing block, I have one point of contact. The tip of my spindle touches my hand. This is how I want my spindle to spin in the bearing block. If my bearing block is created in a way where it closes off or it cups around that spindle tip, what I'm doing is I'm creating more friction at the top in the bearing block, vice the bottom where my hearth board is. I cannot close off my spindle's movement. If I do this, more friction at the top, less friction at the bottom, and I get no coal. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that I create my bearing block something like this. This is a split piece of, uh, of elk. This is the leg. And you can see there's a couple holes there, a couple light holes. They're not holes. They're really just indentations from this spindle being placed right there and spinning freely. It's not closed off. You can look down at this way. You can look at it this way. My bearing block is not touching any of the lateral sides of my spindle. There's only one point of contact. That's it. That is a proper bearing block construction. By this, I reduce friction at the top. I create friction at the bottom, getting more torque. I can apply more pressure, creating uh, that hot coal dust right off the bat, and then allowing it to kind of come together, creating that coal ultimately giving me a coal that I can breathe into fire in a properly constructed tinder bundle. Alright everyone, so uh, before I head out of my trapper shack here, uh, you know, hopefully this, this, this helps. Hopefully for some of you that are out there trying to uh, become a primitive practitioner and employ different uh, fire making techniques, uh, hopefully this helps. Remember, a properly constructed bearing block will lead to uh, much success. If your spindle is smoking and your bearing block is smoking at the top, it's probably your bearing block uh, creating close off, more friction at the top instead of the bottom, and then, uh, you know, not getting that coal. So think about these simple concepts. It's a way, it's not necessarily the way, but make it your way. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you in the bush.